Hi, everybody. This is Rhonda. I hope you're having a super fantastic Sunday afternoon. I am doing absolutely super fantastic, guys. I am so excited to come on here today and to share my finished projects with you all. Um, I've had an awesome morning, went out shopping with my boys to do some grocery shopping. Everybody is feeling much better um, than we, what we were feeling with this cold virus. So um, my husband is still a little under the weather. So please do keep him in your prayers um, and lift him up uh, for his health. But I'm telling you, oh my gosh, I wanted to do this video last night and I almost did this video last night, but um, I had to block the project and get it because I wanted it to look the best it could look um, when I shared it with you all. So instead of making a video last night, I decided I was going to do it today. So I have um, a couple projects to share with you and some work in progress. So let's get into why I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing that I want to share with you, I actually started and finished this project last night. And... My daughter was like, Mom, my boyfriend needs a new hat. And I made him a hat um, like a year, last year for winter last year. And oh my gosh, she wore the hat almost every single day. So she was like, Mom, he needs a new hat. Can you make him a new hat? And I made him a scarf, a scooty, you know, the scarf and hat attached to. But I think he prefers just a separate hat. So I decided last night that I would go ahead on and make him up a hat, a slouchy hat. So I made this. It's the, um, this is the Riptide slouchy hat from uh, uh, Melodora on YouTube. Melodora Creations, I think it is, on YouTube. And I will link the tutorial for this hat down in the description below description box below but it's such as it's a very 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 nice hat and it's very soft I used um Im impeccable and I already washed it and softened it oh my god this hat is amazingly soft but you can see how slouchy it is and he has a lot of hair he has a big afro so this is going to be perfect for him I know, guys, you're probably saying, oh, my God, it's a big head. He has big head. No, he doesn't have a big head. He has big hair. So <laughs> I had to make the hat to fit his hair to encompass all of that. So I hope he likes it. And it's gray and teal. I don't know if you can really see. It's the same. This is the same teal I used for my cape. Um, so I had quite a bit left over. You guys know when I redid um, my cape and so I still have and I still after making this hat and the hat that I made for myself out of that same yarn I still have yarn left on that ball and another partial skein as well from that cape so yeah did you think I'm used too much yarn to make that cape initially yeah I did but anyways this is what I made for him and so and I told my daughter to come by today because I got something for her. She don't know what I got. So he has no idea and neither does she that I went ahead and made the hat last night. So I'm going to surprise him with that this afternoon when they get here. Um, what else? Oh, I, I am learning to use a knitting loom. Um, my middle son wants to learn how to knit and I don't knit and so I went on YouTube and I tried to look at some knitting videos but that two-handed two needle thing not working for me okay not working my mind is just so not there at the moment not to say I won't you know figure it out later on down the line but knitting right now is not my thing okay I am a crochet girl to heart <laughs> but I purchased a loom because I figured okay well if I can't teach him how to knit maybe I can teach him how to use the loom and that'll suffice for now because I also taught them how to finger knit I taught them how to arm crochet but for some reason that 
normal knitting is just not coming to me. It's just not working for me. I can do the cast on, but that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. That's about as good as it get right now. So, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> if anybody knows of any really good um, beginner videos for a child to follow, okay, then let me know in the comments down below. He is um, six, seven years old, but he's really, really good and he catches on really fast. So whenever I show him something, he learns. He's very creative and very crafty. Okay, so he wants to learn this knitting thing, but mama is not a knitter. Mama is a crocheter. But so like I said, I purchased the loom and I'm learning how to loom knit so that I can share it with him. Well, actually all of my boys, because they're interested in all learning to loom. So this is what I've done so far. And I just did this today when I came back from the grocery store. So I think I'm pretty much getting the basic down on how to loom knit a simple scarf, okay? And I really like it. If you can see that stitch pattern, isn't that cool? So the yarn that I'm using for this is Lion Brands Hometown USA. And this is the color San Diego Navy. It's not focusing. You can't see that. But it's San Diego Navy. It's the Lion Brand Hometown USA. Um, and it's a super bulky, a number six weight yarn. So in the videos that I looked at on YouTube, the suggestion was that you use um, a bulky weight yarn or two strands of worsted weight yarn. Now, when I first got this, I did try the whole two strand worsted weight yarn thing and it wasn't working for me. So I was like, let me go buy a skein of bulky yarn and see if it works better with using the bulky yarn. And it absolutely does. Um, make a difference to me because I'm just learning it. So the heavier yarn, the thicker yarn, I think, but this is going to be super nice when it's finished. <clears throat> so um, that's one finished project and, excuse me. Sorry, my throat is still going in and out, my voice. Now, the big project. You guys remember, um, I told you I was working on a top that I was inspired by um, one that I saw in the store. So I finished my top last night. Okay, I'm going to show you the picture, my inspiration picture first. So here's my inspiration picture. Okay, that is, and my lighting is terrible and so, but hang in there with me, guys. I am eventually going to get a new camera and better lighting and stuff for my videos. But um, right now, I just have my webcam on my laptop. And so that's what I'm using. So I will get there with a better camera and where I can have editing software and everything like that. But this is what I'm working with now, so please bear with me when it comes to lighting and my videos being dark. I do the best that I can, but I just want to share with you all what I've been doing, okay? So, now, that was the inspiration picture. Here is, are you ready? Drum roll. <laughs> Here is my finished top. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Can you see that? You got, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry about this, guys. I hit the wrong thing and my lighting totally messed up. Okay, there you go. Sorry about that. But how awesome is this? Here you go. Okay, let me spin homegirl around. Okay, look at This is my version of the top 
that I saw in the store. It was a knitted top and it was called a poncho top. Okay, because it has the big open sleeves. Okay, and you can see I did the chevron and I intentionally left it where the chevrons were out on the end like that. That was an intention because I thought that was just too cute. Instead of filling it in, I just like that dimension um, and depth to it on the arm holes, arm hole openings for that. Um, <clears throat> it's done in sock weight yarn. It is wool like from Loops and Threads from Michaels. This is the yarn and I use the color. This is denim blue and I think this was a beige. Denim blue and beige is what I use. Okay, so let me kind of walk you through how I created this. What I did, it was um, two panels with the chevron stitching. Um, and this top, by the way, will fit like a two, three X. It, it's a, of course, it's a plus size because it's for me. But um, I did the cowl neck collar and I tr the border on it, although you can't really see it, you know, you can't see it on camera, but I did the crab stitch or the backwards single crochet around the edge of the cowl to finish that off. Um, down here, I did my ribbing stitch, which was um, a front post and back post double crochet alternating. Okay, so I once I completed the chevron um, panels here, I joined them together at the shoulder and then I joined them together partially on the side. And what you'll be able to see here is that I turned them so that the chevrons could fit together. And you can't really see it as well as I like for you to, but I'm going to do pictures of it too and put it on my um, Facebook page. But I joined the side together partially so that you could have the large arm opening. You see that? For the poncho style, okay? So it's not closed up like a regular top would be. So you would wear like a camisole or, you know, a shirt under it if you would like. That's the back, and it does kind of cinch in, so you can, however you would want to wear it, kind of pulled up. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about how this came out, and I cannot wait to wear it. I, um, I'm actually considering making either a skirt or some pants to go with this top. Um, I haven't decided whether I want to do a skirt or pants. I'm kind of in between. I've never made pants um, for myself. I've made it for, you know, baby pants or whatever. But I want to make me a pair of wide leg um, crochet pants. And I think that I want to do it to match this top. Um, for a complete outfit um, and I would use the same you know yarn so it would be a while for me working on it but um, I don't know I'll let you guys know if I decide to make the pants or not so there it is I just want to share with you how excited I am of how my top came out now I do have to say if you agree with me, let me know in the comments down below. I told my husband, I could see this in the department store. Like this is the department store ready. Now, I know that sounds um, like I'm tooting my own horn or whatever, but trust me guys, I put a lot of passion and a lot of love in every piece that I create. And I'm constantly endeavoring to improve my craft. So I challenge myself. I'm forever putting myself out there 
um, to do something different, something that I have not seen in crochet for the plus size woman. Okay, so that is what I see and envision um, for my designs is that I want something that's fashionable. I want something that's stylish. I don't want anything that's that, that you see every single day in crochet. And so a lot of times when you go out to the stores, you'll see these cool pieces and knitting stuff is very popular. Crochet stuff is very popular now, but it's easier, I think, or um, to create stuff and knit as opposed to crochet for some people, although I don't knit, but I just think that the, oh, well, let me share it this way. The patterns that I see that are knitting are so much better than the patterns that I see in crochet. So it's my goal to create things that are in crochet that are, that are just as beautiful as the things that I see in knit. Does that make sense? Um, so this is my attempt on putting, you know, raising the bar in crochet. And so I think, and I hope that you all like it. I hope that you think it's as awesome as I do. Please, please, please share your comments, um, down below any, um, ideas or criticisms that you have. I welcome corrective criticism. <coughs> If you guys would like to know detail how I made this top, um, I can do a video explaining how to create one for yourself. So if that's something that you think you would be interested in and me doing sort of a instructional video, not so much as a tutorial video, but an instructional video on how you go about creating something similar to this for yourself, then let me know in the comments down below, okay? So that's all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen and to follow me and share, allowing me to share my work with you. I hope you guys have a super fantastic um, afternoon. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.